Are you the kind of person who likes drawing out ideas and plans to see how they connect together? But traditional mind mapping tools just don't cut it. Well, I've got something you'll like here. I've been pretty vocal on this channel about my love for Notion, which is a bit like Lego for productivity. And yes, it is a good tool, but it does have its problems. Firstly, it is just like Lego. That means you can build whatever you want, but you have to build it within the confines of the bricks, which in Notion's case are mainly databases. So if you're not into databases and tables, you're kind of a bit stuck there. Secondly, Notion has grown a bit of a cult following, which means that a lot of people just throw everything into Notion without a care for whether it's the best place to process or store or retrieve that information. There's more, but before we get to all of that, what have I replaced it with? Well, for the last month, I've ditched Notion in favor of a really powerful knowledge management tool which has been designed for people who like to think visually. To which you might ask what about good old-fashioned pen and paper and I would say to you all right calm down granddad because it's not just about how things are displayed the process is key and in order to understand the process you first have to understand how the brain makes connections between things that are stored up here. When was the last time you had a great idea? I'm willing to bet it wasn't by putting bits of information together in a table or database. So the funny thing about ideas is that they emerge from chaos. The brain almost acts like a detective putting together the parts of the puzzle until a fully formed notion emerges. Notion's probably the wrong word to use there, but you get my idea. You know that aha moment that comes with finding a great concept? It's what happens when you make one of those connections between ideas conscious. Well, the tool that I've been using lately for most of my detective work is called Tool. And as with most things, the best way to learn about it is to have a play, which I'd encourage you to do. But in this video, I wanted to show you a handful of things I used to do in Notion, but I now use Tool for. Let's go. So before I show you my three things, let's have a look around the software. It is available as a web app or a desktop app for Mac or Windows. This is actually the native Mac app that we're looking at right here. One of the things I really like about this tool is that it's deceptively simple, but it hides a lot of complexity if you need it. You get this really nice, clean interface that's comprised of boards, which are basically like huge, infinite canvases that you can put stuff on, and then cards which contain anything from formatted text, lists, lists, images, videos, tweets, or even uploaded files. Cards can then be connected to other cards by dragging these little dots onto the card you want to connect it with. Now the first thing is how I use Scrintle as a planning tool to produce this video. I've actually got quite a tight process that I usually follow for this, which begins with coming up with an idea. Now I've got little piles of ideas I like to keep and Notion makes them a bit difficult to work with because I have to conform to this Kanban format in this case. Plus look at this, it's like scroll city. So in Scrintle, I've got this huge expansive board which I can cover with ideas, group by category, and then from each one, I can start building out the thinking for the video as it appears, including a set of tasks that I need to complete, thumbnail designs and inspiration, and then brainstorming my own thumbnail concepts, plus mapping out the flow of the video, together with any links to research or content that I might need along the way. It's like an entire helicopter view of my entire video creation process, and then I can zoom in to work on any part I like whenever I need to. Likewise, I like to capture ideas for videos I come across on YouTube, whether it's awesome thumbnails or hooks or titles. I've got a whole page for these where I keep them nestled away in little categories in case I need some extra inspiration. And again, unless I want a deep, deep scroll, there really isn't a good way of doing this in Notion other than chucking everything inside a massive nested database, which feels like putting all of your creativity in a prison and then hiding away the key. And moving on, a third area I've been using Scrintle for is for my website user interface. I've started doing more and more freelance work lately and I've developed a few different websites to showcase my services. And with Notion, there really isn't a way to think through the journey that you want someone to take when they visit your website. So being able to literally pick up and lift pages from my website and then move them around, add pages, change the order to make sure that they make sense to my clients when they land there is really important to me. Plus, I can keep all my website copy nested away there in one place in case I ever need to port it over to a different platform. So there's three ideas there around using Scrintle that have really worked for me, and they are all about showcasing the benefits of a single tasking tool like this. So Notion is a tool that offers standard
stacks of versatility and complexity, but for a lot of tasks, it just can't compete with a tool that's been specifically designed for visual thinking. Now there's tons more we could talk about here, such as tags, linking cards together across multiple boards, and even having boards within boards. It's like inception for productivity, but I promise you the best way to discover more is to check it out yourself. So onto pricing, Scrintle is currently in early access for a limited time. I was really lucky to get a chance to be part of the testing community. And if you want to give it a go yourself, you can sign up at the link below and get early access pricing before it becomes the next big thing in the productivity space. The lovely Scrintle team have very kindly offered my viewers a discount voucher on any of the priority pricing plans. That's a lot of P's. Just make sure you use my code in the description below when you check out. And a big tag health to Scrintle for sponsoring the channel this week. Meanwhile, if you're on the hunt for powerful apps that allow you to single task effectively, I'm willing to bet you will love this task manager called Timestripe, which doesn't just let you plan out your days and weeks, but your entire life. It's just up here if you want to see what it's all about. Until the next time, folks, see you soon.